Okay, so we're making a bowl from coconut palm leaf for fruit and vegetable. extra strong. We just go in the direction that these are naturally spinning. I'm going to go under two, then over one, under one. We we'll go another two. So under two, keep flipping those. Under two, over, under, over, under. So you come out one past the, the previous one each each time. I'm going to put that down there just to hold it. Okay, under two, over, under, over, under. Um, when I go under those two, the, the first one I'm kind of putting that little fold and and just getting it, making sure I get it right under there, not not sort of just like that. I've got to really just push that in, and that'll help to lift the sides of the bowl up. Under two, over, under, over, under. Under two. Over, under. Over, under. This is going to definitely the hardest one to get in is the last one. And being such a green leaf, it's going to tend to crack a bit. Make space for it. Okay, well that's that's the first part of that. Now, I'll pull all these out. Shape it up. I'm going to pull these, which will start to give it even more shape. Pull it into shape. Pushing at the top and pulling at the bottom. Pushing those back through starts to give you a bit of an idea of the bowls coming together there. You want all these facing down like that. And I'm just going to make sure they're just sitting in order as well in the right pattern, one after the other. Basically like a the old lens of a camera when it opens up. Okay, and then one, two, three back because they're facing this way so that's backwards one two three four five I want to go five back I want to lift the first one up and then over the next one and then under the so under over under a little bit hard to see what's going on here it gets very tight and then I'm gonna just weave through that through there for now it's only just long enough to be able to do this bottom on with these, only just long enough, so hopefully we get a good bottom on this. Pinch that one. Okay, so very hard to see what's going on at the moment, it will start to appear. So the next one is this one, one back, and then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go under, keeping these pushed down as well, the ones that I'm actually part pulling up, I've got to leave them facing down, under, over, under, okay, so you can sort of see, under, Ooh. under, that's under, under, over, under, oops, I've gone too far back, it's that one there as I'm starting on that one, that's one back, under, over, under. That's it there, you want to see the alternating weave start to appear. And then it gets woven down in the next little slot, one slot after. So the first one was woven down in that slot, this one gets woven down into that slot. 
Now it's just a repeating pattern, but it is take a bit of getting used to. Push that off. That's the next one back. And uh, oh, I'm going to make sure it stays down. I'm just pulling up the first section of it, making sure the the tail end of it stays pointed down. So under, keep that folded. Closer in there, under, over, under. That's the next one. It could be five. I think five to go. Okay. Okay, make sure it sits in the right spot there. Under. Over, under, and through. Okay, like the last. So the magic spot is right there, in between the first and the last. Make sure this is sitting in the right spot too. There we go. It's there, under. Over. It doesn't want to sit in that little spot. The persuasion. Okay, and the one before, I'm going to pull that in a bit. Okay, under, over, and under. And that pretty much gets us there. So that's most of the, the center part done. And now what I've just got to do is I've got to go around one by one and just pulling them at the bottom here. I don't actually need to see them. I can normally just feel it and look. I'm kind of looking a little bit at which, okay, now that one needs to sit over the top of that one. Then I'll pull it in a bit tighter. Getting close to finished. It's uh, only a little bit of finished detail after this is pulled in nice and tight. Okay, now now that centre spiral is really starting to take shape and that, so I can really, now I can work on really pushing this and pulling these so it's really flattening it off on the base. Almost there. Okay, a couple more good pull-ins and call that, that base pretty much done. So the last part of it is just now that they're pulled in nice and tight, we can turn it upside down and to weave these through here to really help hold them in there so that they don't slide it under that one and then under that one, keep it folded, pull through. Now from here on it's just a repeating one after the other so I'll just show one more and then really it's pretty straightforward, you're just doing the same with each each one maybe if you a couple more and then I'd say that's pretty much uh, pretty much a wrap on that as far as learning how to do a coconut bowl. You get yourself a very useful bowl. It so looks incredible, man. Huh? Well done. Yes. Great hey, job, Chris. Here we go. Yes. Jesus, yes. Done well. Yeah. yeah. Woo. It didn't take you that long, maybe thirty minutes I think. Yeah. And you were explaining and everything, you know? Yeah, yep. So great job! Yeah, spot on. Thank you, David. Yeah, well done. Yeah. yeah. So actually, I forgot to mention this in the last three videos that you did, and I wanted just if you could mention your website because you told me about your website one time. Oh yes, it's artisan, a r t i s e a n dot com mm -hmm. dot au. I'll put a link in the description as well, and just people yeah. can check it out if they're in Australia. It's yeah, a, it's it's well, really. I checked it out myself as well. Festival yeah. work. It's not so much. I do teach weaving, but not through that website. And mm -hmm. um, it's more about um, using whatever you have available, natural fibres, to create artwork. So um, yeah, and lots of work with uh, Aboriginal people in Australia. Different uh, projects with Aboriginal people and that kind of thing. So. Mm. Yeah, have a look and uh, it's probably quite interesting, but yeah, thanks for inviting wow. me as a guest to do this on this your is brilliant, channel. yeah. <laughs> You're very welcome. I really, we appreciate that a lot. No worries.